An example of uh, proof by mathematical induction here, we want to prove that for um, any positive integer like n, then uh, 1 over 2 plus 2 over 4 plus 3 over 2 to the 3 plus 4 over 2 to the 4 plus up to n over 2 to the n, this sum is always less than 2, uh, which is also shown this way using sigma notation. Okay, so using mathematical induction, um, similar to domino, we, know we need to start from the basis point or the starting point, which means for the smallest value of ac acceptable value for n, which is n equal to 1 as a positive integer. So we would say, uh, first, let's deal with basis a step using basis point of n equal to 1. So when n is equal to 1, we want to show that a predicate corresponding to n, is equal, n equal to 1 is true, which means uh, sigma k1 to 1, k over 2 to the k is less than 2, which means on the left-hand side, in the left-hand side of this inequality, we only have one component, because k goes from 1 to 1. It is 1 over 2 to the 1 um, is less than 2, which is always true. So, um, always true. Proven. This is proved. Now, the next part is inductive step, the domino effect. So, what we want to prove in the inductive step is we want to say, let's assume um, this statement or this predicate is true for n equal to k. Let's assume for n equal to k as a positive integer, um, the statement that um, instead of k, just to avoid confusion with this index of the sigma, let's assume that um, k is m. So n equal to m. Let's assume for that this inequality is true. Then well, what is the thing we are saying? We are saying 1 over 2 plus 2 over 2 to the 2 uh, plus 3 over 2 to the 3 plus 4 over 2 to the 4 plus up to m over 2 to the m is less than 2. So we are making this assumption and this is referred to as, assuming this is true, is referred to as induction hypotheses. Okay, so we're going to use this. Uh, um, now prove the predicate corresponding n equal to m plus 1 is also true, which is basically saying prove 1 over 2 plus 2 over 2 to the 2 plus 3 over 2 to the power 3 plus 4 over 2 to the 4 plus m over 2 to the m plus m plus 1 over 2 to the m plus 1 is also less than 2. So this is what we want to prove. We don't know this. Um, well, if you take a look at this, one uh, interesting observation, of course, is the similarity between left-hand side of this inequality that we want to prove and left-hand side of what is assumed in the induction hypotheses. So you can see that this portion is the same. You know what? Let's just start from the left-hand side of um, what we would like to prove. So let's refer to this as left-hand side. Uh, what I can say is um, left-hand side um, is just simply equal to... So left-hand side is equal to 1 over 2. I'm going to keep the 1 over 2 plus I'm going to break this down into uh, 1 over 2 to the 2 plus 1 over 2 to the 2. It's as simple as that. It is 2 over 2, 2 over 2, 2 over 2 to the 2, and I wrote it down this way. Let's do the same thing for the other one. We have 3 over 2 to the 3, so I'm going to do 1 over 2 to the 3 plus 2 over 2 to the 3. And for the next one, I'm going to do 1 over 2 to the 4 plus 3 over 2 to the 4. 
and this continues and for m over 2 to the m I'm gonna do 1 over 2 to the m plus m minus 1 over 2 to the m and for the last component I'm gonna do uh, 1 over 2 to the m plus 1 and plus m over 2 to the m plus 1 okay so what well let's uh, separate um, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 to the 2 and 1 over 2 to the 3 so I'm gonna I'm gonna separate these guys I'm gonna put them aside so these guys I'm gonna put them aside okay so I have 1 over 2 to the 3 plus uh, 1 over 2 to the 4 plus 1 over 2 to the m plus 1 over 2 to the m plus 1 the last one and let's put the other ones inside another parenthesis so we have 1 over 2 to the 2 left plus 2 over 2 to the 3 left okay plus 3 over 2 to the 4 plus this continues m minus 1 over 2 to the m and lastly m over 2 to the m plus 1 okay these are still left hand side of what we want to get to as uh, the inequality we are interested to prove now this sum here is a very well known uh, easy summation this is a geometric uh, summation okay um, it is a geometric summation with um, first term or initial term t1 1 over 2 obviously it is a starting with 1 over 2 as you can see as we progress through this finite geometric summation uh, we can see that every time we move from one term to the other one it's as if there is it is multiplied by 1 over 2 so the common ratio is 1 over 2 this is the common ratio okay and this is the initial term okay or first term and final term is 1 over uh, so t final is 1 over 2 to the m plus 1 so this is the final term okay great now this is well, well known so for a finite geometric summation like this we know this sum is equal to uh, since the terms are uh, reducing then it is t1 minus r t final divide by 1 minus r uh, so in this case it is 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 to the m plus 1 divide by uh, mi 1 minus 1 over 2 so with this what we get is 1 minus 1 over uh, 2 to the m plus 1 that is um, the resulting value for this ge finite geometric summation okay so left hand side is equal to I'm gonna replace this whole finite geometric summation with the value that I just calculated so it is 1 minus 1 over 2 to the m plus 1 and if you take a look at um, this side here that is um, very similar to the left hand side of the induction hypothesis the only thing I need to do to get from here to the left hand side of induction hypothesis just factor out 1 over 2 so it's as if I say it's as if I say okay this is for the portion that correspond to this geometric summation for the other portion what I have is uh, factor out 1 over 2 and then I end up with 1 over 2 plus 2 over 2 to the 2 plus 3 over 2 to the 3 plus uh, m minus 1 over 2 to the m minus 1 plus m over 2 to the m and this is exactly the left hand side of induction hypothesis which is here 
And we know the left-hand side of induction hypothesis is always less than 2 because that is what we assumed in the induction hypothesis. So, therefore, I can say left-hand side here is equal to, I'm going to keep this portion 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. And I know this thing is less than 2, so I'm going to say then left-hand side, which is this whole thing, is less than plus, and instead of this, I know it's less than 2, so I'm going to put it 2. So there you go. Now the outcome is clear. Um, this cancel out with that, and um, what I get, oh sorry, these two add up, uh, my bad. So these two add up, so what I get is left hand side is less than 2 to the 2 minus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. All right, so we just proved that the left hand side of what we wanted to prove this portion is less than 2 minus something. So it's definitely less than 2. And therefore it is proven. So with this, we are done with proving induction, uh, inductive step. And uh, with this, a uh, bimathematical induction, so hence, uh, bimathematical induction, the general statement of Pn corresponding to sigma uh, k from 1 to n, k over 2 to the k less than 2 for any positive integer n is proven, is proved.